hey guys and welcome to today's video a day in the life i'm just going to share with you bits and pieces of my day i'm currently working on some estimates quotation doing different sketches and so if you're new to the channel my name is jade i am a cake decorator representing the tri-island state of grenada caracou and pt martinique and every week i post videos sharing what i do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel thank you so much for joining in and let's get started so did most of the estimates already once i'm finished with this i did a hubbard's pickup order so that should be here shortly with some ice and sugar i need to make fondant i'm running low on it and i always like to have so that may be the next thing that i do so if you have any questions, anything you want to know, share in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions for upcoming videos, let me know as well. Are you enjoying the videos so far? <laughs> it's a really nice day out today. What's the weather like where you are? As usual, I have the windows closed because of the flies. They annoy me. <laughs> it's beautiful. So I'll insert that clip for you guys to see. Alright, so I'm going to get back into this and we'll see how this video goes. The ice and sugar arrived. My partner was able to collect it for me. The brand that I use is the Lantic brand. And usually what I would do, because I have an account with the company, I would call them ahead of time and let them know that I'm coming to collect a case of ice and sugar. And they're gonna have all the paperwork and everything ready for me. Once I get there, I just have to pay and pick up my package. Super convenient, no hassle. I did a video some time back explaining the pickup order service. So if you're interested in seeing that video, go ahead and click the link in the description box below. However, one of the companies, IGA Supermarket, they've since switched to doing everything online. So you're not able to call ahead and let them know what you want. You have to go online, place your order and pay using your bank account. This option may be convenient for some persons, but for me, I prefer to pay on collection. So I am a bit disappointed that that option is no longer available but it is what it is right here is what it looks like it's the one kg packet this can be used to make royal icing buttercream frosting and of course fondant which I'm about to make I'm gonna put them away and get started with the process of making some fondant We packed away most of the ice and sugar with the exception of those that I'm going to be using for the fondant. So here they are. Any questions you may have, don't hesitate to ask me. The sifting takes a while and sometimes my hands get tired. So this is a hack that I use. I would place a container under the sifter. That way I don't have to hold it and it makes the process a whole lot easier. How many of you make your own fondant or have ever tried making marshmallow fondant? Let me know in the comment section. I always like hearing from you. By the way, guys, thank you so much for looking at the last post that I did where we went to deliver and set up the cake. Really do appreciate you taking the time to tune in and look at the content that I share. If you enjoyed these videos, pause for a moment and hit the like button. And consider subscribing if you're new. I notice a lot of you look at the videos, but you're not subscribed. Hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified whenever I post videos. Become a part of the Cake Vlog family. This is how the marshmallow fondant looks once I'm finished making it and I store them in this cooler. If you would like to see the entire process of me making fondant, you can go ahead and check the link in the description box. Who can guess what I'm about to make? These are all of the tools I'm going to be using. going to see how much roses I can advance while it's sunny out. I don't want to take the chance and wait until tonight and the rain comes. So let me take advantage of this perfect weather. I already went ahead and did these so they're nice and firm. Apron on 
I did a couple videos before making roses so if you want you can go ahead and look at those guys so this is what a day in the life is like outside of making cakes even if you're not physically putting a cake together there is just always work to do whether it's advancing decorations responding to inquiries inventory prepping ingredients there's just always something <laughs> And I assure you, it's not as easy as I sometimes make it look. There are days when it's very stressful and overwhelming, but I just do my best and take things one day at a time. Who's celebrating their birthday while looking at this video? Or even better, anybody celebrating their birthday in the month of January. If you are, happy birthday, do enjoy. I hope 2021 has been good to you guys so far and you're able to keep up with all of your new year resolutions. I know there are some persons who don't believe in making new year resolutions, but I think it's good to set goals for yourself, at least one. How I like to do it is by making a vision board, so I might divide it into different categories, my business, family, relationship, myself, and then decide on one thing that I would like to achieve. It doesn't have to be a new year resolution per se, but just set goals for yourself and work towards them. How about Valentine's? Are you guys looking forward to celebrating Valentine's Day? I remember last year, my partner and I, we had a date night. So we baked homemade chocolate chip cookies. It was very simple, but romantic, and we enjoyed. How about you guys? What sort of plans do you have to celebrate your Valentine's Day? And to those of you local to me, Grenada is going to be celebrating 47 years of independence. So that's exciting. Can't wait to see everyone wearing their national colors. If you're not local to me, leave a comment below and let me know when your country celebrates their Independence Day. By the way, we're almost at 400 YouTube subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Let's get to 400 YouTube subscribers. Here is a sneak peek at my meal prep. I made ground beef and pasta. That's what it looks like plated out. I had it with a glass of sorrel. And these are the roses once they were done. All right, guys, so it's the end of the video. If you like this type of vlog style video where I share with you a day in the life, let me know. As usual, I appreciate you. Remember, live your dreams and create the life that you want for yourself. Until next time, bye guys. See you in the next video. If you enjoy, give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new.